this is Julia. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, we will be building this modern home and I'm very happy with how this build turned out. I think that it looks just gorgeous. I really love the modern look that it has and I think I love the exterior more than the interior but the interior is very nice as well and uh, yeah I can't wait to show you guys what I made for this home so if you're not that interested in the build process you can just skip to the tour where I show everything about this home so yeah <laughs> anyway I wanted to make something modern, but I wanted to make kind of like a cute family home. So I came up with this house and I think I built this on a 40 by 30 lot. So it's a little bit bigger than I'm usually building on. Or is it a 30 by 30? I'm really not sure, but yeah. Anyway, it doesn't really matter that much, but anyway, I built this in Newcrest and this home has two bedrooms and one bathroom. I was kind of thinking that maybe it would be nice if there was another bathroom in this home, but I don't know, the floor plan just worked so well the way that I made it, so yeah, I decided to leave it like that. But anyway, if you want to have a second bathroom in this home it is very easy to adjust it a little bit so you can have that uh, yeah but anyway i wanted to say that i was like super happy with the exterior of this build and i was so happy that i decided to make this build when i was like just looking at the exterior and i just thought that oh my god it looks so gorgeous and I feel like I would be like so happy if I could live in a home like this and this just looks so gorgeous and I just love it so much but yeah anyway I also love the interior of this build even though I don't think that it is as good as the exterior but it looks very nice and very modern and that is exactly what I was going for, so it turned out exactly the way that I wanted it to. And that is very nice. It always makes me so happy when a build turns out exactly how I wanted it to. But I also wanted to mention that I had a few problems when making this build. So usually when I'm making bigger builds, I mean... This is not really like a big build, but it's a little bit bigger than what I usually make because I'm super used to building on like 20 by 20 or 20 by 30 lots. So this was a little bit bigger. So anyway, I had some problems with like filling up the space in the living room and I think the master bedroom and the home office that I made in this home so yeah I was really struggling with those and I did not film everything in here so you can't see exactly like everything that I put there but most of it is in here and then some I did off cam but I just didn't want to like make this video like super long because that would be kind of annoying to watch because it was really like not an easy task for me to fill up those rooms so I needed a little bit of extra time to think how I want to make them but in the end I think that they turned out quite nice and I'm happy with them so I think that that is the most important thing and yeah I really hope that you guys will like this build as much as I do and I also wanted to mention that I was also experiencing some issues with like objects disappearing when I built this. Like they disappear if I like save and quit the game and then when I come back and I start working on it again, some objects are disappearing. And 
I feel like this mostly happens with the dream home decorator objects but I feel like it has happened with some other objects as well. I'm not exactly sure about that, but has anyone else experienced this problem? It is seriously so annoying and I'm like losing my mind because of it, because I needed to do a lot of things all over again because they were disappeared when I went back. So I also want to say to anyone who is going to like download this build that some things might be missing for some reason because you know um, I think that if they're always missing when I go back to my game then they're probably also missing if you download this build but anyway it is a very annoying problem but I really hope that they're gonna fix it at some point uh, yeah it would be very nice if things didn't go missing from my balls and yeah I just find things like that extremely annoying but yeah I'm just gonna like try to ignore that but anyway moving on about the floor plan of this home I think that it turned out very nice and I pretty much love it it looks gorgeous and all the rooms are a very nice size except I feel like the kitchen of this house is kind of small compared to the living room but I was thinking that I guess it doesn't matter that much you know not everything needs to be always like perfect sized and stuff but I still feel like the kitchen is a very good size and there is everything that the sims should need so I guess it doesn't matter that it's maybe kind of small compared to the living room but I don't know I just wanted to do the floor plan the way that I had already done it so I decided to ignore some like minor facts or at least to me they felt very minor so about the color scheme of this home so you might have already noticed that I went with a very neutral color scheme so I used a lot of whites and then some very neutral wood tones and maybe some black and gray here and there but I really didn't use a lot of color in this build because I just didn't feel like it and uh, I feel like modern builds really like go well without any like actual colors and just like very neutral tones and I just I don't know I just love the look of it and I really hope that you guys will like it as well but anyway I wanted to mention here in this video that I'm still struggling a little bit with keeping up with my schedule so at least for a while now don't expect me to like publish videos as much as I usually do I'm going to publish new videos at least every single week but I cannot promise how many videos so Yes, I'm having a lot of issues with filming and, you know, just making the builds and everything is just kind of hard for me right now. I'm having a lot of issues in my personal life and, yeah, some medical issues and they're really bothering me and it's making it very difficult for me to really, like, make all these builds and videos and all that but I hope that it is going to get better real soon and then I can just get back on making videos as much as I would like to make them so my like goal is to publish videos every other day so I really hope that at least like by the end of the year I can manage to achieve that goal again and I really think that I can do it but anyway, about the objects that I used in this home, I ended up using a lot of dream home decorator items and then I think I used some like eco lifestyle items and then actually quite a lot from base game as well. And 
yeah i think those were like the main packs that i used but as almost every time that i build i did use other packs as well so this is not a limited pack build but i really wanted to like mention about like what packs i was like focusing on when building this and i always feel like when i'm building something modern that dream home decorator and eco lifestyle are like perfect choices you know <laughs> the objects in those packs are very modern and they just look absolutely amazing so of course i want to use them and yeah i'm really happy with how this entire build turned out and i really hope that you guys will like it as well but i'm kind of like thinking that maybe i should do like another one like another build that is very similar to this one but i would really like to i don't know make it better somehow because there is still like something that i was not entirely satisfied with this build so i really feel like i should make something a little bit similar of course not the same build but yeah something a little bit similar in the similar kind of style but i don't know what yet so yeah i guess we will see about that but anyway moving on so about the sims that could be living here i was kind of like thinking that maybe one of the parents would be like a therapist or something so the home office would be like um the place where they would like you know treat their patients and yeah i thought that it was a nice idea but of course you can have any sims living in here that you want to and about their kid i was thinking that it could be like a preteen girl or something like that i didn't really think about the specifics but that was like some of my ideas when i was building this home and by the way i wanted to mention that the home office is actually my like least favorite room from this house and i'm kind of annoyed that i even made it or <laughs> i kind of wish that i would have like separated the space in half and then i would have made something else for like a part of that space because right now i just feel like it looks super empty and it doesn't really have like a good purpose for all the space but yeah what's done is done and i'm just gonna leave it be but anyway i'm going to wrap up this voiceover now because i'm actually like in a bad hurry because i need to get some videos done before i leave from home tomorrow i'm going to visit my mom so i'm gonna be away from home for about a week so <laughs> i'm not able to make any videos while i'm gone so i need to make them right now like today and i really don't have a lot of time i still need to pack and everything but yeah, like I said, I'm going to wrap up this voiceover now. So I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye bye.